when you go to China, they yeah. surveil you. If an American goes to China 30 times in the 90s, they have surveillance footage of him. That is Fox News dingbat Jesse Waters and GOP Congressman James Comer talking about Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Walz. As the independent headline says, Republicans promote baseless theory about Tim Walz's China visits and claim he was groomed as double agent. They have surveillance footage yeah. probably of his honeymoon night. What kind of compromise is that? They were worried about Trump and a P I mean, tape situation that that was all made up. This is serious business. It, it's very serious. China thinks long term. Uh, it's very possible that China would be grooming a, an up and coming rising star uh, in the political process to try to have a foothold uh, in our government. Congressman Comer. When Tim Walls was on his honeymoon with his American wife, Gwen, they were both teachers. The year was 1994. Tim Walls did not leave his teaching job and run for political office until 12 years later in 2006. So unless the Chinese have a magical time traveling machine or unheard of psychic powers, they would not have been able to predict or know in 1994 that Tim Walls would become a rising political star, as you say. But you see a lot of crap, and Fox News loves to amplify the nonsense, so maybe we shouldn't be surprised. Still, this is really pathetic, even for you and Jesse Waters. Now, to be fair, there are other morons who have gone on Fox News lately and tried to dismerge Tim Walls because Walls took high school students on visits to China and because Walls speaks some Mandarin. Waltz has visited China 30 times and even served as a fellow to a Chinese institution devoted to the Chinese Communist Party. Maria, maybe I should speak slowly and use words with few syllables so you can follow this. In the late 1980s, when Tim Waltz was 25, he taught English and American history in China through Harvard University's World Teach program. That program worked with the Chinese Communist Party as all education groups had to do when China opened its doors to foreign visitors, including American teachers and students, in the late 1980s. In 1994, Walls and his wife took a group of 60 Minnesota students to China. The couple had just gotten married, so the trip doubled as their honeymoon. Subversive stuff, right? Q. Newt Gingrich. Now, to what degree is Waltz's collectivism and as one person described it, his Maoist tendencies. To what extent was he going to China because they were paying for it? And to what extent was he going to China because he really is that radical and that far to the left? Radical and far to the left, as in Walls must sympathize with the Chinese government. No. As The Independent writes, while in Congress, Walls served on the Congressional Executive Commission on China and his time in and out of office has largely sided with human rights issues and political moves in opposition to President Xi Jinping's regime. In 2010, Walls co-sponsored a House motion condemning the arrest of activist and Nobel Peace Prize recipient Lu Xiaobo and activist Wang Xi. Walls also supported the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act, which demanded an end to human rights abuses in the former British colony. Walls also met the Dalai Lama and has supported calls for religious freedoms in Tibet condemned Chinese aggression in the South China Sea, and blasted China's allied relationship with Russia in its war in Ukraine. Wait a second. How could all of this be? Republicans, including hosts on Fox News, said Walls is seriously compromised and could be a Chinese agent. Oh, right. Fox News. Republicans. Low-thinking people. And by the way, if Fox News was really concerned about U.S. political leaders having allegiance to America's enemies... Why isn't Fox screaming about Donald Trump and Russia? Donald Trump did business with Russia. He brags about his love for Vladimir Putin. He disclosed classified intelligence to Russia from the Oval Office. Trump even tore up an interpreter's note so that Trump's conversation with Vladimir Putin would be kept a secret. And Trump has pledged to pull the United States out of NATO, the alliance that seeks to contain Russia. There is hypocrisy, and then there are the Trump bootlickers in the Republican Party and on conservative media outlets. Clearly, MAGA world is freaked out by Tim Walz's popularity and the boost that Walz has given Kamala Harris. So all the MAGA Kool-Aid drinkers can do is make up nonsense and hope that most American voters are ignorant and stupid. Well, thankfully, most Americans are smarter than the idiots on Fox News. James Comer and his cronies are free to keep doing Donald Trump's political bidding, 
But the rest of us are free to point out that James Comer, Newt Gingrich, Maria Bartiromo, and Jesse Waters are morons. By the way, Tim Walls keeps hammering Donald Trump and is going viral beyond politics. Look, in Nebraska, you got a slogan here. Nebraska, it's not for everyone. <laughs> well, it sure ain't for Donald Trump, I'll tell you that. Another speech, another viral video featuring Tim Walls. On this day in Omaha, the Democratic vice presidential nominee hammered Donald Trump. This guy is the opposite of everything here. Every opportunity he has, he weakens our country to strengthen his own hand. He mocks our laws. He sows chaos and division amongst us. And that's not even counting the time he was president. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Justice for All who wrote, Walls is the uncle you wish you had. Trump is the uncle you wish you didn't. <laughs> I hear you. I look forward to reading your comments about Fox News hosts and other Republicans freaking out about Tim Walls and China, only to have it all make the conservatives look really stupid. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.